YouTube? Topaz Jace back for another mixtape review, and this one is to that Troy F. Free Troy F. And this project comes off as one that he had already coming before all of these legal issues and stuff that he brought upon himself happened. Like, all they needed to do was grab up these tracks and then throw on top of it the half interview, half bars that he spit. And which on the tracks were the involving that from the skits that's involved, the outro and the intro, Pretty much he's giving his side of the story on what happened and how he's perceiving everything as it goes, man. And quite honestly, brother, I mean, you want to talk all that innocent stuff, they're going to throw the book at you. Like what Troy Ave is claiming is that somebody came and tried to assassinate him and what he did was took the gun off of him and decided to retaliate pretty much. And let me tell you why that's just not going to play, dude. Simply because of the footage that they got of you. None of that footage actually says that you're defending yourself. It really comes off as you and your group is running through mobbing and you just send off a random shot which was the dumbest thing you could have possibly did man because quite honestly you're getting attempted murder for shooting in a crowded area. You never shoot a gun in an area worth of people man unless you're gunning for somebody specifically because therefore you might as well take the murder charge. Sending off just a random shot as you did you're getting a murder charge without even shooting at anybody. What upsets me the most about it is how one people are taking what he did and addressing that directly to T.I. because that was his show even though he was nowhere near involved in none of that. And second how people are going to take this and use it against every single black rapper out there in New York man. Like you have provided them with all the excuses that they need in order to continue to lock up our own people. They're going to use this in order to say okay all of these rappers are associated with gang members and such. A lot like how they doing Bobby Shamar right now. You just giving them more reasons to do it. And one of the worst things about it as you listen to this project you realize it's not as bad as a lot of his previous projects. Like all of his previous projects before going all the way back to Bricks in My Backpack mixtape man. It's been really corny really terrible music and such man but this one had some potential to it so it seemed as though he was definitely toning around his music. Looking at tracks like The Got The Juice where it's obviously inspired by the movie juice basically portraying the street notoriety that people get from putting in work on the streets. That song was cool man and then a couple other joints actually had some potential as well but Troy Ave did kind of mess those up too like Love the Game that song definitely had its potential but why is Troy Ave actually trying to sing here? And that carries over all the way to that Thank You Jesus song where it really comes off as gospel like and you can obviously tell the inspiration behind all of this man because you know Troy Ed has always been inspired by earlier New York rappers like a lot of his music has sounded a lot like 50 Cent for that reason and this one obviously had to come off as Biggie player hater and the thing that made Biggie's player hater work even though that Biggie himself couldn't sing nor could Puff Daddy sing man is the fact that they went in and made the best song that they possibly could while running with this joke. The production quality of it was amazing and everybody took it as a joke while these songs you kind of got to take them as he actually believes that he can sing because the production quality just ain't there. I mean, he's definitely thinking that he can hold these tracks down when he can't. But quite honestly, the best song off of this mixtape would be that Mama's Tears, where he's pretty much telling a story on the consequences of dealing with people who are shady. A saying that I heard before, it's better for you to work with five lions than to work with a hundred sheep. Pretty much only associate yourself with people who are really down for that action, man. Otherwise, you're just going to ruin yourself in your life. But ultimately, man, Troy Ave, you had all of the potential in the world, man, and you threw it all down the drain. It seemed as though you was taking the right steps with your music, but now it's way too late for that, man. Overall, I give this project a 5 out of 10. One, I'd say go ahead and peep out just because. But this concludes today's review, and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Vital before we jump into the news and then jump into an article from DownloadPass.com. Jay-Z 
and Rita Ora has settled the lawsuits that they had because stemming back to when she got signed back in 2008, she was signed to like a four album deal and when she only dropped like one album in eight years and she claimed in her lawsuit that Rock Nation pretty much turned into a sporting agency over music so she got left behind in the past. And then Jay-Z counter sued saying that they spent all of this money in her sophomore album and we haven't gotten any details on how they came to a conclusion on this. All we really got to go on is the fact that she decided to sign with Warner Brothers so obviously it's over now. And this obviously is the reason why it doesn't make sense for anybody to sign the Rock Nation right now, dude. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com and today's article is about your tools for success. Because here's the thing, your tools constantly will evolve and things that we use in order to succeed in the game it changes all the time i mean these days people are using instagram and vine and everything to their benefit and one thing that somebody once told me in order to succeed is i needed to go ahead and step up to instagram and all of that because i'm not on instagram like that but the key thing that i told that individual man is yeah it would be nice for me to go ahead and hop on instagram and all that but yet ultimately it's just another tool that i can use to get to where i want to be it's all still going to fall on me and I'm going to have to start back over. I currently use Twitter, man, and as long as people are still dropping mixtapes and have Twitters, then I'm going to have the opportunity to continue to progress. That tool is not outdated and you got to understand it's not the new social media joints that you need to hop on. It's more of mastering who you are, using those tools to your advantage as well. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.